Hello and welcome back, the gaming teacher here. Now, I just want to start off by saying a few things about my mic. I've actually changed the volume. I changed it uh, because in the first video it was, it was quite quiet. So I wanted to fix that before um, I carried on recording. Um, well, what we're going to do, we get straight into the game. Um, I'm, this is pretty much where we left off. I've not changed anything. Um, what I would like to do today, I would actually like to just go through what we've done and just talk a bit about what our plans are and what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be um, executing the plans. Now, one of the first things we want to talk about is the, some of the things we've researched, okay? Basic machinery, schools, construction, mechanical computing and grand battle plan. There are our construction, uh, there are, sorry, research that we are undergoing at the moment, okay? What we're going to do first of all, I want to actually focus on our armies and navies. So what we're going to do, I'm going to select all of our armies and soldiers and I'm going to place them in one place. We're going to place them into London. So that means we can get a bit organised. The navies on the other, the navy sorry, on the other hand, I'm going to select and I'm going to take all of them and I'm going to place them into Scotland. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to get organised. I can't stand not being organised when playing this game because what's going to happen is, especially when playing the United Kingdom, that is, you get very disorganised because everything's all over the place. We've got armies and navies all around the world, and we said this last time: Southeast Asia, India, Africa, America, Europe. So what we're going to do is get organised, and I'm actually going to start play because we haven't unpaused the game officially. So I'm going to play it on very slow, get our armies get there. And I want to have a look at this. Now, we have insufficient resources. This is due to the fact we have started um, production. Uh, we've also started construction. Um, but we also want to start adding infantry. Now, I've already started to have a look at this. I know I said that I didn't change anything, I've just realised I have changed some infantry in. Now what I've done, this is training of infantry here. You can actually edit these and you can kind of design your own template. But what we're going to do, this is how you edit it here. What we're going to do, we're actually going to use what we've got for now. We will change it eventually. And this is where you can train your infantry divisions. Now, we first of all want to set a location for where they're going to be trained, so where they're going to come out. I'm actually going to choose uh, Yorkshire for this, okay? And afterwards, what we want to do is we want to start adding units, okay? Now, what this allows us to do is we allow it allows us to create a number of divisions at a time. So we've actually produced six divisions here. And it's actually better doing it this way than it is to just continue train. That might be good if you want them in different locations. It just makes more sense to do them all at the same time. So at the moment they're going to be training and we've got to sort out this problem up here where we have insufficient resources. So we are actually low on oil. If you look here, we need one oil. Uh, we have a surplus of aluminium, rubber, tungsten, steel, and chromium. So what we're going to do is go, go to oil. We first click. To, we can click the first one. We can borrow from the United States. Okay. If we set the amount that we need, and we're going to press send, and that should clear our insufficient resources of oil. Fantastic. Okay. Armies are on their way to London, and our navies, I think, oops, our navies are all the way here. Okay, so we have all our navies in here. We've got three fleets. Now, one of the first things I want to do is organize them. I want to have a Royal Navy, a navy which is main role is to protect this area around here because once we get into the war the Germans will be taking all the navy or the subs submarines the submarines and navy out of this point and in order to get out of this point they would have to come into contact with our navy now as we said before we're going to have to use our strengths and one of our strengths is United Kingdom is the navy 
So what we're going to do, I'm going to select these and we're going to have a look at what we have here. Now this is a, alternate, I don't want to change anything with this at the moment. But if this is potentially our biggest navy here, we have no, we've got quite a few, we've got no aircraft carriers as of yet, I don't think so. No, we don't. Oh, we do, we have one carrier here. Okay, so if we can build our navies from our carriers, so what I want to do, let's get a commander and we can actually organize the commanders through skill and because this is going to be our one of our strongest navies we need that admiral with a very high skill set so what do we get we get number of ships in in first contact plus 25 percent so this is going to help us at tactically positioning ourselves before a battle which could be helpful um, retreat decision chance plus 20% first speed while retreating I'm but then again I mean this this guy he looks a bit, he's got two I mean I, I don't want to focus on retreating too much because we're gonna have a superior navy however he has got the first contact the same with James We'll go for Andrew. Okay, we'll go for Andrew. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take Andrew out in his fleet. I'm going to take him out here into the northern North Sea. And now he's got a fleet of 33. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on organizing these, but I would like to get organized. So, what we can do, we can select a fleet. It might be a good idea to have a submarine fleet. Let's place our subs over here. Let's get them out of the way. And we can move them out of the way, have a separate submarine fleet. We can get the submarines to do raiding, maybe taking down any type of um, convoys, trades from other countries that can help us during the war. Um, We've got here a heavy cruiser. Let's place this one over here. Because so what we're going to do is combine them together. I, I really just want one entire fleet. And they, they used to do this in this game, but the best way of becoming strong or having a strong navy in this game is sadly just numbers. And it comes down to that. Yes, you can have you know, cruisers, battleships, destroyers, but at the end of the day, it's all to do with numbers and that's what we're going to focus on so I'm going to select these submarines put the submarines down here now you can potentially merge the fleet so now that is one huge navy and it, it, we can increase the size of it later on and what I'm going to do I'm going to get this navy here to patrol the entire area what we're going to do is pause this have a look um, King George V dies. Okay, so um, King George V dies. Now, what happens is our unity has actually decreased, so it's gone down by minus 10%. Okay, let's play it again. Um, let's continue to select these destroyers. Place him here. What else we got? The bodies. Uh, more destroyers. We can always separate these later. Because our main focus is here, Europe. I'm not going to concentrate on anywhere else in the world. I don't want to. Not yet. Uh, destroyers, heavy cruisers. I think we've only got one aircraft carrier. I don't think we need as many at the moment. I don't think I'm going to put any in production. The British Navy was always renowned for their superior sea power of course the Germans were renowned for their submarines they were quite feared um, Portsmouth fleet 
And some of these names are awesome. They're really good. I like these names. But what do you think of the game so far? I mean, I'm taking you play it. I mean, your comments will be welcome. If you can, just let us know how, what you think of the game. and Do you enjoy playing the game? Do you, do you like the way it's built? What would you change in the game? I mean, I'm, I'm quite new to the game. I'm not saying these things through experience. I'm, I'm nowhere near experience in this game. I'm, I'm playing it purely for fun. Once they could get together, we can kind of merge the entire fleet. There's probably a quick way of doing this. I do take long air submarines, put them down here. Once we get organized, it would help us a lot. Look, we've got another submarine fleet coming. Are they still coming over from... We, we moved them ages ago. However, I've got the time very slow at the moment. Sorry if I'm moving it around very fast. Try to keep steady. Where's our submarines? Right, there we go. Should we start putting these together now? Let's merge the selected fleets and we put them all under Andrew with skill 5. Because what happens? Everyone gains these benefits. Why not take point? Why not use his benefits? Makes no sense. Um, I mean, you may have a better way of doing this. This is how I like doing it. By all means, please, if you... If you've got another way which you feel is more efficient, do let me know, and we can work on it. Uh, if we place these in here, let's go back to our army. Oops. Right, so let's merge. Just put these all under a general. Right, so they're all in one unit now, and what we're going to do, we're actually going to assign a commander. Now, I don't want to go too much overrun, I want to stay at a minimum of 50, a maximum of 15 minutes. Um, so I will be stopping very soon. Um, let's, let's have a look, let's, Alan. Alan has own combat width minus 10%. Okay, he's more offensive minded. And the entrenchment. Okay. Okay, fighting on the defensive. Well, to be perfectly honest, even though we are going to go down to Germany, and I want to make all the fighting around here, hopefully, helping, helping France, we are going to be on the defensive. The Germans are going to be very, very strong in the inf infantry. Their military is going to be very strong. So what we're going to do, I think we'll go with Alan and put him down as our general for Army 1. And let's call this army uh, the Royal Army. Okay, Royal Army. And we can leave that be. So that's our Royal Army. And we can actually, we leave him there. And our fleet is on the way. And we merge these. There we go. Almost there. Let's take out these. Ah, you know what we could have done? He was probably shouting at the screen. I could have just picked out all the submarines, placed them to one side, and placed all these fleets over here and then merged them. Oh, I do apologise. Oh, at least I knew now. Like I said, I'm not a pro at this game. I enjoy it. And I hope that some of you could just please let me know during uh, the comments or just let me know how things are going. Right, three dockyards. Now, this potentially means we've got 17 out of a possible 19. So what we're gonna do, 
I actually want to build another. I want to get a production of a. A carrier. Oh, we don't. We don't have carriers yet. Of course. We need to actually research the technology. Which we will do soon. Let's have a look. Naval. Um, where's our carriers? We could potentially, once we get the carriers, we need to focus on, of course, a Royal Air Force. Am I not looking in the right place? Our carriers. Here we go. Carriers, yeah. So, we could possibly get this. We've got this. Very interesting. Let's go back. A recruit and deploy. No. Nope. Production. Where's our carrier? Destroyer. Here we go. Here's our carrier. Um, let's let's start production on carrier. I think I think carriers are very useful because we've got lots of destroyers. Um, and here's a problem: cannot deploy. Why not? If anyone can tell me why that cannot deploy, insufficient manpower. Ah, right. Well, that is going to be an issue. We are really lacking on manpower. Hugely lacking in manpower, but hopefully by what we can do and hopefully what we look at that time um, We would concentrate on our Ways of trying to increase manpower one of the ways we could do that is actually by um, Here um, We can Wait for the effects of World War one to decrease and also we can increase it by going through the focus tree if we get to the right focus tree, we go through the right actual tree branch, we can actually increase manpower. And also, we will talk about some of these as well. But before we go, I just want to give these a, a mission. Now, what I would like to do is when we start a mission, is I want to, we could potentially patrol. The difference between these two is they the way they spread out. So this is search and destroy. The formation spread is 50%, it's very tight. And this one's the it's 160%, it's very wide. Now, being as a big fleet, I'm tempted to go to patrol. For now, and we could change it. And what we can do is we can select areas we want to patrol so if we concentrate on these areas okay maximum areas um, we can't go here it's not yet I think we can go here we'll stick with these three for now and what we can do is patrol them so we are actually patrolling the areas which is fantastic and as you can see our little kind of navies uh, ships have all spread out right and that's me for time and i hope you've enjoyed it and what we do we'll continue focusing on building this united kingdom and getting prepared for the war and i thank you for watching and i'll see you later